The next attack is cryptanalysis of AES, PIF, and is zero. The others are Patrick Debe, Dezu Iwata, Ling Sun, Sui Sun, Yosek Todo, Hao Yang Wang, Mei Ching Wang. And Ling will give the talk. Thanks for the introduction. Uh, the name of the presentation is Cryptanalyze of AES, PRF, and its Duo. Uh, so we will start with a background and motivation. Following that, we will give some rela related preliminaries, and then we will present the overview of our attack. Uh, then we will look into the attacks on AES, PRF, and Duo AES, PRF. At last, we will give the summary and conclusion. Uh, as we all know, cellular random permutation is one of the main primitives in symmetric key cryptography to realize some security functionalities, such as encryption and authentication. It is also the ultimate security goal in the design of block ciphers. Many block ciphers with standing uh, extensive analyze are regarded as pseudo random permutation, uh, for example, AES. Uh, in some modes of uh, operation, the invertibility is unnecessary, and the security will improve if a pseudo random permutation is replaced with a pseudo random function. Uh, for example, in the CTR encryption mode and the authenticated encryption GCM, a highly secure set random function will ensure the security beyond the birthday bound. Uh, given some candidate block ciphers, there are several techniques that enable us to transform set random permutation to set random function. However, all these techniques endure a considerable efficiency cost. So to maintain the efficiency uh, based on the dual of encrypted davis meyer structure, uh, many, many can Davis propose a delicate design called a fast, FS, fast PRF at last FSE. Uh, given an iterative block cipher EK, we donate the Uh, we do donate the first half part of EK as EK1. The output of, of PRF equals the XOR of these two values. Uh, AES PRF is as efficient as AES. However, the efficiency comes at the cost of provable security. Uh, the pr the provable security results of EDMD uh, requires the the components to be independent permutations, which is no longer applies to AES PIF. So we want to reconsider the security of AES PIF in our work. Uh, we mainly focus on these open problems. Uh, firstly, in the previous FSE paper, S equals two is left as an open open problem, and. Uh, we handle it with impossible differential and zero correlation attack. Uh, besides, we consider the, uh, the security of many other variants. Uh, we also consider the security of the dual version, which we call dual AES PIF. The methods used in this paper include impossible differential, zero correlation, traditional differential cryptanalysis, and meeting the middle attack. So this is the structure of AES PRF. Uh, the whole, the full, the full encryption state, the full <coughs> encryption of AES is divided into the first S rounds and the last T rounds. The output of AES PRF <coughs> equals the state encrypted by the first S round and the state encrypted by S plus T round. Uh, we also consider the security of the counterpart of AES. 
the full encryption is also divided into two parts, but the plain text is used as a face forward. Uh, clearly, the, in these two structure, when, when S or T equals to zero, they are insecure. So in the following discussion, we only focus on the cases where S and T are all equals, are all greater than zero. Before we look into the concrete attack, we give the overview. For the attacks on AESPF, when, <coughs> when S is uh, lower than two or <coughs> lower than or equals to two, uh, we use the we use the impossible differential and zero correlation method to launch the K-recovery attack. The main observation is the second part is a permutation so that we can construct trivial impossible differential or trivial zero correlation linear approximation for the second part. Uh, in the impossible differential attack scenario, uh, the non-zero input difference and zero output difference constitute a natural contradiction and we complement this impossible differential by the propagation rule of differential. And in the k-recovery case, uh, uh, given a pair of plan text, uh, since the second part is the impossible differential, the output difference here must be the must equal to the output difference here. So for the first S round, we know the input difference and output difference. Uh, by the property of the S box, we can recover the K involved in the first S round. And in the zero correlation attack, uh, we, con we construct a trivial zero correlation approximation with zero input difference and now zero output output mask and then we get the subcase involved in the first S round and uh, use the value here and here to com compute the, the value of the zero correlation statistic. If the value of the statistic is lower than a predetermined threshold, the guess sub K will be rejected. And uh, when T uh, T no T is no more than four, we use zero correlation method to realize the distinguishing attack. The core observation is to construct an iterative zero correlation approximation for the second part. So by the propagation rule of linear mask, we know the input mask must be zero. So only use the output value enables us to count to compute the zero correlation statistic. And uh, when the value of the statistic is lower than a threshold, and we will say the, we are not faced with ASPRF. And then since the uh, best, best attack results for AES is based on meeting the middle attack, so we also study how these techniques can be applied to ASPRF for all, all variants of AES PRF reduced to seven rounds, we give me to in the middle attack. Uh, since dual AES PRF is the counterpart of AES PRF, <coughs> the, the, the attacks are very similar to those for, for AES PRF. So when T is less than or equals to two, we, we, we attempt to use the weakness in the first part to, to, re, to, realize, to realize K recovery attack. So after get, after guess the subcase involved in the last T rounds, we use the difference of values here and here to check the contradiction. If a, sub, if a guess sub K indeed, indeed uh, resulting in a contradiction, we, we will reject the gas sub K. And when S is no more than four, we use differential method to launch K recovery attack. The main observation is the second part is the permutation. So when a pair 
of plain text collect as the output, then they must collect before the permutation. So we construct, we construct a iterative differential for the first S rounds and use the property of the S box to recover the involved sub K. So now let's look into the concrete attack on AES-PRF. Uh, the first attack is impossible differential attack. Uh, firstly, we construct a two-round possible differential, and since, since we regard this part as a permutation, so, uh, so the output difference here must, be the, uh, must equals the output difference of the PRF. So we construct structure as a plain text and save the pairs with output difference of this form. Then we know the output difference here. So for the first two rounds, we know the input difference and output difference. And then we guess the involved step K as a five colored byte uh, and proper forward propagate it to the output of the sub sub-byte op operation. So for this S boxes, we know the input and output difference. With the property of the S box, we can uh, obtain the partial information for the first sub-K. Similarly, uh, we know the input and output difference for the second sub-byte operation. So we can derive the partial information for the second sub-K. Uh, when the first two sub-K are compatible with the K schedule, uh, we will reject it since this K validates this impossible differential. Uh, the second one is a zero correlation linear attack. Uh, we uh, set the input mask and output mask as this form, and in order to compute the value after the first, uh, after two, two rounds of encryption, um, we get the involved subcase and compute the value here, uh, and then we use the value here and here to compute the zero correlation statistic. If the value of the statistic is lower than a threshold, we will reject the involved subcase. Uh, comparing to the <coughs> impossible differential, we release the a text scenario from chosen plan text to, to known plan text, but the, the complexity increase, increases. Oh, we want to notice that in these two attacks, uh, we, we don't restrict the length of the second component, and uh, this, works, uh, this attack works only if this part is a, random, is a permutation. The second attack is, is a distinguishing attack based on zero correlation uh, method. The main idea is to construct an iterative zero correlation approximation here, and then we can only use the value here to construct zero correlation statistic. So the key step is to construct uh, is the construction of the iterative zero correlation approximation. To reduce the complexity, we need to maximize the number of non-trivial zero correlation approximation. So we exhaustively search for all the truncated linear masks. Uh, for the three-round case, we find that the, um, the input mask has at most 11 non-zero bytes, and for the four-round case, the input mask has at most Eight bytes. So with this distinguisher, we realize the distinguishing attack for the corresponding primitives. The last one is, is, is a meeting the middle attack. We use the conventional four-round distinguisher. Given a third set constructed as the first round, uh, the output sequence of 250 55 differences is fully determined by 25 byte parameters. 
So the number of possible sequences is reduced from this value to this value. And in the k-recovery attack, we put the four-round distinguisher in the middle of the PRF. Uh, the, the concrete attack is very similar to the attack uh, for AES. In the offline phase, we construct a hash table to store all the sequence here. And in the offline phase, we construct structure as a plain text and uh, select those pair, follow, follow this differential pattern, and uh, get the intermediate state to recover the involved subcase. Uh, the attacks for dual AES-PIF are very similar to the AES-PIF. Uh, for, for a given pair, we, uh, for, since the first part is an impossible differential, so the difference here equals the difference here. So for the last two rounds, we know the input difference and output difference and use some techniques, we can recover the involved subcase. A zero correlation attack is similar. We get the involved subcase and the com compute the statistic with the value here and here. Uh, the last attack for dual AES PRF is a differential attack. Uh, the main observation is the second part is the permutation. So by controlling the difference here, we can control the internal difference. So, uh, so the key step is to construct a, an iterative differential for the first four rounds. And the differential we use is uh, illustrated on the right. Uh, in the k-recovery attack, after de detecting a collision as the output, we know the input difference and output difference. Then we get the internal, state, internal difference here and here. With all these known differen differences, we can derive the input and output difference for all the four sub-byte operation. And then with the property of the S-box, we can derive the involved sub-K as a colored byte. So this attack reveals a weakness of dual AES PIF. That is, by controlling the output difference, we can control the internal difference. So now we finish all the attacks involved in the paper, um, and this table summarizes all the all the attack results involved in the paper. Uh, firstly, we improve the previous attack when s equals equals one, and uh, we also ob uh, we also find that for these two construction, they only have one round as security margin. So based on, based on this attack, we give a comparison, comparison between AES-PRF and dual AES-PRF. <laughs> Firstly, for the, from the feasibility of differential attack, we know the security of AES-PRF is higher than dual AES-PRF. And this is in uh, consistent with the discussion in the previous FSE paper for the preference of EDMD structure uh, over EDM structure. And the second observation is both this construction have only one round as security margin. So it's interesting to consi consider the choice of the parameter. Uh, the balance case is a nature choice of the design. However, our results indicate that S equals to four it's potential to be more secure, since in this case, the security margin increased. So we think it's also uh, it's still interesting to consider the security of the, of the re remaining variants. 
Uh, that's all for the presentation. Thank you for your attention.